not really trying to talk about my personal business on camera. But you said you would downstairs. Why don't you come tell us what you think? I can't. I'm... Come here. No, no. Come here, come here. Why, why, no, 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 why do you no, no, always... No, this is your project. So why are you doing this? Ever since I can remember, I wanted to be a journalist. I wanted to tell important stories. And I finally got my shot. Okay, here's the scoop. We have a community voices section, and I need community voices. Now, you're a young journalist from the hood, or what's left of it anyway. I want you to talk about what's happening from a more local perspective. So you want me to write a piece about Bed-Stuy? I want you to write a piece on Bed-Stuy, but not a fluff piece. Not one of these were a striving community trying to make it type of pieces. None of that shit. I want real, real perspective of what it's like for these people on the poverty line to survive on a block where the property now goes for $1.5 million and up. All right, so what happens if you like it? If I like it, I don't know. I might go down on you. I'm kidding. Don't be a homophobe. It's not cute. If I like it, we post it. Maybe you get stopped here. That sound good. Everything except for the go down on me part was pretty good. I liked everything else. I just, I didn't like the go down part. So no. the writing part, you like that? Yeah, that was good. Good, let's do it. Let's do it. Off you go, into the ghetto. My little ghetto boy, into the ghetto streets. Can I leave now? <laughs> is gonna change the neighborhood. I don't think things will change, but they're not gonna get any better if more and more people don't care about what the fuck is going on. So all I could do is take my camera and show people what Brooklyn looks like now, talk to the real residents and the newcomers, and turn it into a story. Aren't you aware of some of the economic strife that comes with your presence? No, I'm not like a part of like the gentrification problem. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. There's a lot of cool businesses coming in. And, like, let's be real, poor people are a buzzkill. What brings you here to Brooklyn? I have this little startup going, and it's like moccasins made of goat skin. That shit's sick. People love that. So how are you this big-time journalist, but you still work for your uncle? First off, first off, first off, you got your words wrong. I work with him. Um, um, um. I have to ask you for something. Look, I ain't bailing you out of jail. I'm not helping with an abortion. And I'm not helping you kill somebody. No, no, look, I just got this story that I gotta do for Vice. I need a place to crash while I do it. I'm trying to figure out my living situation. Man, you gonna be, man, get out of here, man. Digging in your hair, you got your hair flying all around everywhere. We in the kitchen. All right, now you gonna be back here doing these dishes. If you do these dishes, man, I want you to really do these dishes, man. I ain't talking about just rinsing stuff off and laying it on the side, man. You gotta really dig up in here, man. You gotta scrub. You should be sore after you do this dishes, man. When you really scrub and you feel it after a long day, like the next day, you be like, ah. Cause you sore from all this scrubbing. Dishes ain't got watches, so they don't know what time it is, man. Why are you so wet for? Why the fuck did you move to bed style? I mean, New York was too expensive and a lot of my friends were moving out here, so you know I came out here and I just I fell in love with it. it it's it's so cultural. It's it's so real. <laughs> Everywhere you go, it's like I'm on set for Beat Street or something, and it's inspiring to see all walks of life and. Right? Fuck you looking at? Damn, shorty. <laughs> Amazing. When you come back home, you run into people from your past. Old friends, old flings, old feelings, unfinished business. Hey man, you can't afford that. Oh, what I do without my baby? <laughs> You know, you're doing the hair, 
It's like, like how oh, she yes. has an ad break. Yeah, 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 I just didn't get to finish it this morning. Oh, okay. I know, I feel so stupid. No, nah, I, I like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, is, is that Misty Copeland? Oh, yeah. You know, she's such a boss. I wanted to be the first colored. Did you just female. say colored? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's just white girls in the American ballet, except for Misty, but it's like I'll be number two. So you still pursuing dance? You still pursuing life? <laughs> yeah, I guess that was stupid for me to ask. I mean, I'm just glad that you didn't, you know, live being like a single mother and college dropout. Fuck up my life. Shit. Okay. Including your teeth. So last week I'm in Whole Foods, formerly known as Half More. Here come this white bitch after I smack my four-year-old, talking about, you shouldn't do that, he's a child. Bitch, it's my child. Where your food stamp card? I also pay taxes, sorta. Just the other day, I'm over here making my rounds, doing my deliveries over there by Fulton, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, niggas robbed me for my Postmates. That shit, you know, I'm thinking that that's gonna happen in one of the ungentrified parts. You know, one of the parts that ain't been settled yet and shit. But no, that shit happened right here, man, in Best uh, I mean, South Williams. Williamsburg, or as they like to call it, so will. That shit happened right the other day, man. Dude robbed me right up the street. Pulled out the burner. All of a sudden, he snatched the kale salad. Back in the days, I had to worry about Mob Deep and G Unit. Now I gotta worry about Lady Gaga and three vampires. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. You see the niggas out there? Yeah. Oh yeah, Rico in there. Oh, Rico in there, man. You tell them if I smell any weed, crack, or any of that shit, man. You tell them to death that, man. All right. If my customers smell any of that, they gonna come complaining to me. You know what moves white people faster than terrorist attacks? What? Niggas. Niggas standing around. Niggas are. You know he got that color. You know how he got this complexion. Where y'all going? Angry black woman syndrome. Fuck you, nigga. Come on, come on, nigga. Fuck you, come on. Niggas fight. Just acting a goddamn fool. It don't matter what they talking about as a group. They could be talking about mathematical equations and stock market tips. They out of here, man. All right? Put your phone up, man. What you doing? They taking over Brooklyn, yo. White people are everywhere. Look, look what they did to Harlem. Huh? All Bill them. Clinton moved up there, and there's Lewinsky's everywhere. Lewinsky's Every, everywhere. Lewinsky's. But yo, yep. word up. I kind of like that chick gentrification shit. You know what I mean? Yo, yo, yo what's it like about yo, it? Yo, on the real, I took a yoga class. I'm nigga feeling good. This shit, yo, first nigga. and foremost, I stretch my shit out. Nobody don't even eat yoga. Yeah, nobody, nobody eat yoga. Yo, yo, nobody yo, eat yoga. Yo, this nigga say yogurt. yogurt. I said, yeah. yoga. I said yoga, B. It's meditation. B. No, no, listen, 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 what I say, listen what I say. I'm to talking him. about yoga, motherfucker. So why you start creeping on me for? First of all, ain't nobody creep on you. You get what I'm saying? I came in real smooth like a hawk. <whistles> Black. Put the covers huh? right yeah. here. The covers right here. And now he's right. now he's going that way. And why not get the taxi instead? I'm stupid. Right. Right. Where are you going? Alright, we're just gonna wait here then. We just wait. Shoes before? Why? It's gonna I'm be fine. I'm gonna be right here. No, I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna Stop! Calm down. Stop! Ah. <laughs> 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 
Five minutes, but you still dead. Next. No, 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 Wait, no, what? No, no. What? Oh. Yo, you good? Sorry. Hey, hey, Yo, no. just go get the clock. Yo, is you crazy, stupid, or both? Both? You mean both or both? Man, now you got a lot of nerve coming in my business hot. Now get your shit and get the fuck on out of here. Sorry, look on, man. Brooklyn used to be Brooklyn, but ain't no Brooklyn no more. They're gonna try to force us out. What up, pop? Water, water, water. Get some water, yo. You want pop? Give me a dollar, pop. Give me a dollar, pop. Put it in your hand, pop. Feel it. Good water right. for you. I ain't, I ain't got no dollar on me or nothing. Bob, come on, Bob. Final, final call, final call, final call. Hey, your brother Akbar, man, what you think about what's going on in Brooklyn? <laughs> the white man has been taking things that don't belong to him for a long time. He stole us from Africa. He stole this land from the native people. He even took a piece of the Mexican man's country. Tell Gentrification him. equals genocide. River, can you tell us about how your rising rent is making it harder to live? I don't know. I want to know what you think about gentrification, how it's affecting your living situation in particular. What's, what, what do you want, what do you say about it? Hello? What up, yo, you girl River? She dancing, brother. She's a ballerina. Nah, I'm talking like that's not the car. That's my nigga. Touch it. What? Touch it. What? Touch it. I'm not just, doing that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Cool it. Wait a minute now. Just like a, like a, like a cat. Hey. Do you like a lap dance? No. Are you sure? Yes. Would you like? Don't make a scene. Don't make a scene. 
I'm not. I'm just gonna tell everybody. I thought my girl was a bartender. Turn that shit out and shake it ass for tips. Don't you remember your fucking life? This is like that again. I'm not some slut. Shoot. 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 Ah. Get off of me. I'm not some fucking slut. Nor am I some manic pixie dream girl for your memoir series. I'm a real person with real responsibilities and real feelings. Do you even know how high my rent has gotten? I'm my baby and my girl is a think of. Do you think I want to be here? Grow the fuck up, Simba! Wait. So you think that we can make the community better how? By everybody just living here together. Everyone just get along and take care of each other. First off, I ain't your motherfucking brother. My name Kareem, aka K Lupo, aka K Murder. And since you're nosy ass ass, I'ma tell you, I think all this shit bullshit around here.